It's not the typical law enforcement beat. Here it means motoring across the Salish Sea, looking for dangers to whales, including endangered southern resident killer whales. We want to provide them as much protection as, as possible. Uh, you know, we are in their environment, and, and so we are in, encroaching on, onto their space and what they do naturally. And, you know, all they want to do is feed and, and forage and, uh, you know, uh, survive. The Whale Protection Unit, based in the lower mainland of Victoria, patrols for people disturbing whales by getting too close. There are laws in place to mandate distances. For southern residents, that means no going within 400 meters. And when boats get too close, uh, that disturbs their uh, behavior um, and it, it uh, um, hinders them from foraging and, and communicating with each other. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing we want to avoid as well is, is uh, any vessel strikes or you know, propeller strikes. Those are extremely damaging to the whales. The team spent Tuesday cruising between the Gulf Islands looking for groups of boats clustered together, which could be boaters trying to catch a glimpse of the creatures, but then maybe getting too close. But the whales made few appearances, so no potential misbehavior was seen this time. But the unit did have to act. Two pleasure boats cruised through a critical habitat area for whales are where boats are that? mostly banned. The couple on board oh, this nice. one seemed unaware of the rules. They quickly left the sanctuary zone after being informed of the violation. The Pacific Whale Watching Association, in a statement to CBC, said law enforcement, not just the Whale Protection Unit, is only at 3% of whale sightings attended by whale watching companies. Executive Director Aaron Gless says when law enforcement is there, it sometimes feels as if a disproportionate amount of effort goes toward monitoring professional whale watch vessels when evidence shows that other vessels pose a far greater threat to whales. That includes noise from large ships like ferries and tankers and distance violations by recreational boaters. Captain Scott Hampkin wants consequences for poorly operated recreational craft like rental boats and jet skis. They're totally oblivious and they'll come right in, they'll come in front of the whale watch boats, they'll come in front of the whales, they'll approach them from behind or in front and it's just, we see this and we're so frustrated that we're not able to do anything. Chung says the unit aims to strike a balance between enforcement and education and more people are getting the message. He believes that's leading to less conflict and smoother waters. Liam Britton, CBC News, Richmond.